So there are things you should tell your husband. There are things you should not tell your husband. There are things you should tell your wife. There are things you should not tell them. Another thing that you can do to have a very happy family life is knowing when to talk and when not to talk. This time, I'm talking about your secret. Listen and listen very well. Everyone has their own skeleton. Do you get that part? Everyone has their own skeleton in the cupboard. Everyone has their own secret. There's no point. Listen very well. There's no point because you love this man or because you love this woman. Now, when you are happy, you now tell him, tell her everything that you were a prostitute, you used to do this, you used to do that. You're killing your relationship. I'm telling you the truth. Now, when both of you are happy, there's nothing wrong. But you have dig a grave that you're going to fall inside. You have dig a grave that you are actually going to fall inside that grave. So imagine that your spouse found you beautiful and he loves you. And you people started dating. And he said, tell me, tell me more about yourself. He did not know that you were a prostitute. And he started telling him, ah, I used to do the Olo show. I used to do this. I used to do that too. But I've changed. <laughs> Guess what you have done? Who told you? See, at this point, you have registered something in his mind. Let it be that he knew that you were doing it. It's a different thing. But in the point that he did not know, he loves you. Now, when you tell him that, well, because you say you have changed, no problem. But guess what will happen when things turn around, when the table turn, and it looks as if you did not do anything. You know? ah, he said that this girl have gone back to... Uh, can you see a problem now? Everyone has their skeleton. Keep your own skeleton to yourself. There are things you shouldn't tell your husband. There are things you shouldn't tell your wife. Except they have need for it. Yes. Even God himself have things that he kept for himself. While Jesus was on earth, Jesus said something. Concerning that day, no one knows it. Not even the angel. Not even the angel except the father. So why didn't the father tell him everything? Even if he did not know, except the father. Because I could see the reason that the father did not tell him, although I don't know. <laughs> although I do not know, but I can guess it. If the father had told him that on so so, -so date, likely he would have informed his um, subject that, okay, concerning that day, it is going to be on so 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 year, it's going to be on so 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 time. And that could have caused a problem. So the father knowing that if I tell him this, this can cause a problem, refuses to tell him that part. Yes, there was no sin. There's no sin in that. So there are things you should tell your husband. There are things you should not tell your husband. There are things you should tell your wife. There are things you should not tell them. Anything that you know that if you tell them, it will cause problem. That's your own skeleton. Now, now that people are happy, it's just like when someone is happy, you can make promises. But when you, when you are no longer happy, those promises, you might not keep it. You forget about the whole promises. Yes, that's how it is. Now, you that you have forgotten the promise, the person that you promise have not forgotten it. The same is applicable when you expose your skeleton. Those mistakes you did, those things that probably God has forgiven you, God has let go. You now come and establish it in this in his mind or in her mind. She will not let go easily. She knows that that's the kind of person that you are now. Ah, you can always go back to it. So whenever there is a problem, the person is hanging on this. And I'm saying this today. Listen and listen very well. It is not everything. It's not everything that you should tell your husband. This doesn't mean that you're keeping secret. No, you are not keeping secret. But this one, it does not have business in it. It's not, it does not. And mind you, there is nothing you can do to satisfy human being. So let it not be because of love. You are now exposing something that will bring harm to your relationship tomorrow. Because by the time you make your husband to start suspecting you, start feeling you are, or your wife, your husband, your wife, to start suspecting you, it is hard to fix that relationship. So if you know you want to have a good relationship, a happy marriage, then all you have to do is make sure that you know what you tell your husband. That even if tomorrow or next tomorrow your husband or your wife should, we two people should have problem, he will not use that against you. If you know that if you tell them that you used to smoke, it will cause problem. Don't tell him. Even if they come to know tomorrow that you used to smoke, it is better you will stay in peace until they come to know. When they come to know, say, yes, it's true. I used to smoke that time. But I did not know that there's a need for me to tell you. 
Of course, there was no need for you to tell. Because if you tell that person that time that you as a woman you used to smoke, ha, huh, you have already you have started to cause problems in your marriage. So reselect things that you tell your spouse. There are things that they are your personal problems. Some of them God have forgiven you. Let's assume you used to smoke. And now you've repented and God have decided to forgive you. And you're coming to tell your spouse that you used to smoke. Until when the need comes. When the need comes, I'm not saying lie. Tell them, yes, it's true. I used to smoke. But as I repented, I've stopped smoking. Now, why didn't you tell me now? But I didn't see a need to tell you. And you did not ask. Yes. <laughs> you did not ask now. So I didn't see the need to tell you. This doesn't mean that you're hiding things from your husband or your wife. But you select the skeleton that if you talk about it, if you bring it out, <laughs> there will be a problem. I believe you've gotten value. If you've gotten value, please kindly like this video. Because when you like, comment, and share, you tell me that you're getting value from what I'm sharing. So I should bring you more. I should that you need more of it. Hmm? Kindly like, comment, and share. And if you haven't followed me, you haven't subscribed up to this time, you're doing yourself. So I don't know what's stopping you. Just turn on the notification so that as I'm coming up with banger, <laughs> you'll be receiving it. Yes, we are coming up with, we are fully loaded. We are fully loaded. That's just the truth. I love you so much till we meet again. Peace. I love you. I love you. I love you.